Hello everyone and welcome back. So today's topic is going to be very interesting and um, I'm sure most of you have used this app including myself but today what we'll be talking about is do you feel that this particular app which we'll be discussing in detail is it helping you or it is creating more problems for you? So we discuss the both sides of it. So I'm sure by now you must have guessed it how this app called Chat GPT, or in other words, artificial intelligence, is it helping us a lot as human or it is creating a lot of problems for us for the future. So let's get started on that and watch the video till the very end where I'll be discussing a lot about it and how it personally helped me and what I feel about it. So we all need to discuss more on this topic so that as we are heading into the complete world of artificial intelligence, we are well informed about it. So with that, let's get started. So what are we talking here? So we're talking about how this artificial intelligence, in other words, ChatGPT, or any or the other apps have they literally added values to our lives or they have created problems for us so let's begin with the personal life right so if, if i just talk about the personal life we think that virtual assistants it has given us that it has given uh smart home automation where the securities we feel more secured yes definitely it has given the benefits of AI, right? Entertainment, of course, the movies, the visual effects, and so and so forth. Personal financial management, of course, AI yeah, based apps, you can use it anytime. Uh, language translation. So, there was one point in time when people were not able to translate, but now everything is over the phone. You just download an app and you can translate into any language of your choice. And social media and communication. Yes, it has become so easier. So I'm talking from 90s when these things, even the cell phone was not there. And now we can see cell phone has become a need is not a want. And apps on it have definitely made our lives easier. So let's talk about the professional life. Professional life, the productivity of apps have given so much. Uh, customer support apps are giving, especially the AI apps, data analysis, recruitment, uh, cyber security is huge. As we know in the coming future, it's going to be one of the most talked about professions. Medical diagnostics has become very, uh, I would say, advanced. And after that, supply chain and legal and financial assistance has become available to everybody. So what you need is just a phone and you need to download an app and definitely AI has given us that. So one thing I personally wanted to touch upon with you all guys was education because as an educator myself on social media, I want you to provide with good knowledge where you are learning something new and utilizing to your own skill set, right? So that's what we are doing these days. So everybody's learning online. The tutoring systems have changed. You can AI driven, you can see so many things like Khan Academy, Coursera, and so on and so forth. There's so much you can learn from these days, right? Automated administrative task has been given to them. Intelligent tutoring system has come enhanced accessibility, the smart content creation, everything you have. So as an educator, it has become absolutely easy for us. For example, if I have to use ChatGPT like within milliseconds, any topic I want to ask question on, it gives this to us. So I would encourage people to use ChatGPT. I mean the free version, if you don't want to use the paid version yet, but try using it. It is something very fascinating how uh, personally a uh, thing which is so quick within milliseconds uh, the topic you have asked it's given all the data all the points around it 
and then you can personalize it according to your own need right so try chat gpt which we have used in the deep seek is another one which i have not used that one but chat gpt yes i can speak for for you all and i would encourage you all just try it just do it online search open ai and then you will see how it works for you okay just play around with it other things which i've seen that creativity yes it helps because to an extent like for a person like me who was before coaching business was not too savvy on the creative part of these things like for instance um, creating posts and all of that nature but yes you can play around with ChatGPT and see how your creative acumen is developing around it okay that's also very important so now here I've talked about personally what I have used what you can use for the future but everything should be used with a caution. Now here, since I'm not entirely working on online all the time as a coach, I do yes to sessions with the people, but I'm, my job is not entirely dependent on, I would say AI, but there are some jobs like that which are. So here I also want to put a disclaimer for the people like, what could be the drawbacks personally I would feel if you are using too much of AI, uh, I hope it does not displace your job, okay? So number one is a job displacement, like some of the things. For example, when I see it on the social media, almost everything AI-driven uh, has become available to the people. Like I just told you, the virtual assistant, and I was surprised that so many things can be done by AI, which people were doing it earlier. Personally, I like people do it, because there is some, I would say, um, emotional element to it, which AI does not still do it, okay? So I'll talk about that, uh, about that as well. So high implement, implementation costs. Yes, AI still is pretty expensive. So as a human, we can still do other things. So that's one of the things. After that, another drawback is lack of human creativity. Now, add emotional intelligence. So. Human creativity is still the best, I feel. When you're trying to create something, yes, you should not be completely dependent on digital. You can just try to see the colors you like because sometimes you've forgotten, you know. Uh, I've seen people like, when AI suggests some colors, they pick on those ones. But I would strongly recommend that you still keep the creativity going on, okay? Then after that is, Emotional intelligence, yes, you have to know about your emotions well. Um, and the, one of the biggest thing is lacking empathy has given us AI, which you need to be very, very careful about because that's one of the biggest things um, you have and you should keep it to yourself, right? So empathy is like understanding where other person is coming from. And, uh, and if lack of empathy can lead to so many uh, mental health issues as we know so discrimination like internet biases are there which you need to be very careful about the privacy and security is another concerns when you're using ai the other one is like um, critical thinking your critical thinking gets declined or reduced so make sure then you're using your analytical mind as well so this is especially for the people who are students and professionals then still we there's a drawback of legal and ethical issues and then risk of AI misuse. Some people like to use it for different reasons, which are not in accordance with uh, how an AI or legally AI should be worked. Technical limitations are still there and loss of human interactions. So I would highly recommend you please don't lose out on these things. They are the drawbacks of AI. Still keep all these in, things intact. And do try, but use it whenever you need to in limitations, so it's not affecting your mental health at all, okay? So don't get consumed by it. So thank you for watching uh, this video and being with me today. I shall be back again with another interesting topic and you all have a wonderful day.